You're welcome to Destiny Discovery with Pastors Dele and Temi Takwe Balagun, a program designed to help you discover your destiny. It will also enlighten you on how you can identify your purpose, the specific steps you need to take, and the strategies to employ in achieving and fulfilling your purpose. Welcome to Destiny Discovery.
To God be the glory. Hallelujah. You are welcome to another session of Destiny Discovery. By the special grace of God, we want to continue our prayers for the firstborn and their children and the release of some prophetic declaration. In Genesis chapter 49, if we read verses 3 and 4, the Bible says, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. First four, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defilest thou it, he went up to my coach. This is an account of where Jacob placed curse on Reuben. Whenever we are talking about family causes, or wherever we have causes on the family, the firstborn are likely to be first affected by the causes, and the causes we transfer into the lives of their children. In this story, Jacob placed a curse on Reuben and said, Reuben, as from now on, you'll be unstable as water. Study the scripture all through. All the Reubenites went to the back. They did not excel again, and they became unstable. All we are saying is that when there are causes on the family, the firstborn and the children of the firstborn are likely to be the, the partakers. And as a result of that, there are so many children of the firstborn and the firstborn who are not doing well today because of the causes of their family. And the Lord asked me to declare unto you all causes that are moving you backward, all causes that are afflicting you, affecting the work of your hands, not making you to excel, not making you to even stand, even among your colleagues, shall be broken today. And that one will lead us to our prayer. I want you to begin to pray that every curse of my family, because I'm the firstborn, every curse that has been transferred or transmitted into my life, into my destiny, into the lives of my children, in the name of Jesus, I command it to break. I destroy it now. Go ahead and begin to pray. Wherever you are, every family cause that has been transferred or transmitted into my life, that has banished me to the back, every family cause that is making me to move within a circle. Every family cause making my life not to be meaningful because I'm the firstborn, because I happen to be a child of the firstborn, I decree, be broken in the name of Jesus. Christ has redeemed us from every curse of the law. I decree, let us pray that every family curse that I have inherited, I break it, I cancel it in the name of of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. When we are talking about a curse, it might mean invitation to demons, invita invitation to forces of darkness to afflict a person. So you are going to pray and say, all forces of darkness, all demons, all principalities and powers that have been summoned to afflict me, that have been summoned to truncate my destiny or to truncate the destiny of my children, that have been summoned to truncate my destiny because I am the firstborn. I 
decree Holy Ghost fire rose them to ashes. Lampra kula kazanda yemlo kolo koshe kure kekeke. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the one who has never lost any war. I pray for all the firstborn. I pray for all children of the firstborn who are under any yoke of family curse. I decree that this yoke is broken today. Every principality, every power, every forces of darkness that have been summoned to afflict you, to have been summoned to afflict your vocation, your profession, your career, because you happen to be a child of the firstborn. I decree it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I hereby decree to every firstborn listening to me, every family cause that has banished you to the back, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I decree every family cause that has reduced you to nothing, that is making you to be a slave to your colleague, to be a servant to your colleague, I decree it is canceled, it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every force of darkness, every demon, every principality, every power that has been summoned, to, uh, to afflict you, every spell that has been cast upon your life, I nullify it today. And I say, as the firstborn, this year you will move forward, you will progress in the name of Jesus, rather than for you to be groaning under the yoke of family curse, I decree the blessings of God shall come upon your life. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. That takes us to the next prayer point. There is something called family sickness and family disease. We have discovered that in some families, some sicknesses are common. They are notable. They even call it family sickness. They call it family disease. For example, in some families, they are diabetic. The father will be diabetic grandfather diabetic, children diabetic, and so on and so forth. If you are the firstborn, you are likely to be the first partaker of the sickness of your family. Maybe that is why you, 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 you are not healthy. Because this sickness, you have been battling with this sickness, your children have been battling with this sickness because it has become the sickness of your family. It has become the disease of your family. It is time to pray. I want every firstborn and their children to lift up their voices unto God and say, Father, every family sickness that has found an inroad into my life, I reject it now because I've become a member of the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. I reject every form of family sickness that is moving from generation to generation in my family. Ramba Zanda Yakumba Galakashanda. I plead the blood of Jesus over every firstborn and their children, and I decree every family sickness, every family disease that is uh, tormenting them in the name of Jesus be destroyed. I say be destroyed. Christ is the healer. If you call unto him today, he will bring healing unto you. I want you to pray and say, Father, lay your mighty hands of healing upon my life as the firstborn, upon my children as the children of the firstborn. Shall we begin to pray? God is the healer. Jesus Christ is the greatest physician. He can heal you. The Bible says by his stripes we were healed. I decree that the healing virtue of God will flow into your body, it will flow into your spirit, it will flow into your soul. This year, 2024, ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, family sickness will not be your portion. It is destroyed in your life. The yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. There are some family diseases too that are moving from 
the firstborn, even to their children. I want you to say, I dissociate myself from every family disease. In the name of Jesus, I dissociate all my children from every family disease. Every family disease that is upon my life because I happen to be the firstborn, ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cause a separation between myself, between my children, and any family disease. And in the name of Jesus, I receive my healing. In Jesus' name I pray. I want you to add this prayer to it and say every plague of year 2024, every epidemic of year 2024, every pandemic of year 2024, I decree none will come near my dwelling. I commit every firstborn and their children and all others who are listening to me into your hand, I pray that every plague occasion to happen in year 2024, every epidemic of 2024, every pandemic of 2024, none will be your portion in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. I hereby decree, since it is written, that by his tribes we were healed. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, every yoke of family sickness, every yoke of family disease in your life, in the life of your children as the firstborn, it is broken in the name of Jesus. The healing virtue of God will flow into your body, will flow into your soul, will flow into your spirit. I even decree that every sickness, every ailment that has found an inroad even into your career, into your profession. It is crushed. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. This year, as the firstborn, I decree into your life, you will remain healthy. And for the rest of your life, you will enjoy good death. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Congratulations. No more family causes. No more family sickness. You are free in Jesus' name. I say congratulations. Congratulations to all firstborn and their children. God bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm.